tonight we anticipate the announcement of US GDP growth. Currently we're seeing quite a subdued US economy. Directly following the global financial crisis, GDP growth did go ahead quite well in the US. This was due to a significant federal stimulus package bolstering the public sector. As this federal package was reduced recently, it was hoped that consumers would take up the slack. About 75% of US growth does come from consumer spending. Currently we are anticipating about a 0.5% GDP growth for the last quarter, quite a subdued rate of growth. Overnight, we saw US investors continue to sit on the sidelines. This actually led the share markets down about 0.15% overnight. Investors continue to sit on the sidelines, eagerly anticipating both the midterm elections and the next round of government easing. Post yesterday's GDP announcement, the New Zealand dollar had a steady bid tone to it. In afternoon trading, we were up against most major trading currencies. Overnight, continued talk of an aggressive stimulus package from the Federal Reserve saw the New Zealand dollar jump as high as 75.57. This high currency has continued to weigh on our agricultural sector. A recent survey from Rabobank suggested that confidence has fallen across all sectors. This has been due to both the high dollar and also a tough start due to adverse weather conditions. It appears that confidence fell most amongst the dairy sector. This was at a season high in mid-year. Unfortunately, this has fallen recently. It appears that the optimistic production forecast of about 14% will be unlikely for this season. New Zealand Wool Service International reports that prices were once again up at this week's auction. Coarse wools were up about 1-5%, to whilst fine wools were up about 3-9% to on average. It appears that our wool industry has followed other fibres upwards recently. Cotton has been leading this trend with both production out of the US and China gratefully affected by adverse weather conditions. This will be supportive of wool prices for the current period at least. It appears that the strong clip has come at a time when Wool Partners Cooperative is looking to form a farmer cooperative via a $65 million capital raising. The capital raising is conditional on achieving at least 50% of the total New Zealand wool supply.